SQ3R is a great reading and note-taking strategy. Why do you need a reading strategy? Well, how many times have you picked up a textbook, read for a while, and realized that you've not remembered anything you just read? Using the SQ3R method helps you remember what you read so you can get wonderful grades and do well in all your classes that test you about information that you've read. You should use this method for any textbook reading and for any online or print articles that you read or use for research in any of your classes. The S is for skim. Before you curl up with a blankie and hot cocoa to read, take a moment to skim over the entire text. Skim means to look something over at a bird's eye view. Look at main headings, bolded words, and any pictures or diagrams. This will give you an idea of what the article will be about. This also helps you know what to expect and hopefully will trigger some background information you might already know about the topic. The next step is to ask questions. Asking questions helps you pay attention better to even the most boring reading assignment because you are essentially on a mission to answer the questions you have asked yourself. If we have a purpose, we are more purposeful. You should write down any questions you have and turn headings into questions that you must answer by reading. The first R in the three R's is to read. You're now going to answer the list of questions you've created by actually reading the text. The next R is to recite. In this case, it is not only okay to talk to yourself, but actually encouraged. Take notes on paper as you read and say the answers to your questions out loud if not too many people are around. Put the answers to the questions you've answered or the important points you've discovered from the reading into your own words. When you put something into your own words, whether in writing or by talking to yourself, you're more likely to remember it later. The final R and the final step in the process is to review. Read through your notes, perhaps highlight, or even take additional notes on your notes. Have you ever read through your notes later and realized you have no idea what you meant when you wrote them? Doing a quick review while the reading is fresh in your mind to add a few additional details will prevent that from happening. This is also a fantastic time to talk with someone else about what you've read. Bring it up with a classmate who also had to do the same reading, or bring it up at the dinner table. Your parents will be thrilled when you have something to share when they ask you, what did you do at school today? So that is the SQ3R reading method. The more you practice it, the better at it you will become, and the more you will remember when you read.